Welcome to Tio Aventura Bus in Austin, Texas. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy. Make me believe it. Don't want to hear it. I want to see you. See you have. Rewind. When we school bus is found nestled about 20 minutes from Austin, Texas on the east side and it's beautiful, charming, cozy, homey, all of the above. So this bus was actually previously owned and built by Marie Jose and Chase of Tio Aventura. Um, so they now live in their self-converted Sprinter van um, but they took this bus on adventures all throughout North America and called it home for a while before moving on to their Sprinter van and what's really cool is Tio Aventura actually means like Uncle Adventure adventure and their whole thing behind that was like you always have the crazy uncle and you know this was theirs and so um, Catherine the Airbnb host now owns it and has just created such a lovely place and put her own flair and personality into it and it's beautiful so before I show you guys the interior, I just want to talk about this outdoor living area first. It's so cozy and so warm and inviting. So you have this elevated deck area with four seats around the fireplace and these beautiful twinkle lights um, that are on a timer, which just creates such a nice ambiance if you're just hanging out by the fireplace and enjoying all this nature around you. And you have a really cute um, little stairway entrance into the bus. And so I want to show you guys that. So again, cute little details with the railing and the steps that just make it really charming, really rustic, but I know what you guys are waiting for, so let's go check it out. So when you first walk in, you're reminded that yes, it's a school bus, um, but since it's stationary, not driving anywhere, we don't even need to really look at the driver's wheel. Um, but you have this really cool little cabinet storage space uh, where the Airbnb host, Catherine, she's thought of everything that you need. You have your insect repellent if you're going on a hike or something like that, some nice candles, and the information about your Airbnb stay here. But then you're immediately welcomed into the living room. So you have these two beautiful sofas and it has these really cool custom woodworking um, spots with cup holders and everything at the sides of them and these gorgeous neutral colors that just make it feel homey and cozy and you completely forget you're in a school bus once you're in here. And so one thing that's really cool about these sofas is they actually pull together and make a queen size bed so you can actually sleep four in the school bus, which is amazing. And so, yeah, it's just a really cozy place um, to just unwind. I know for us, we just spent some time playing games in here and they have a table that is actually kind of hidden back here behind me and tucked up against the wall that has these hairpin legs and you can just lift it up, set the table in between these two sofas, enjoy a meal, get some work done, play some games like we did. We even watched some Netflix, um, just chilling in the living room. So it's really cozy, really inviting and I want to show you uh, another part that makes this area so charming. So right over here is the fireplace and so you have a tiny wood stove and it burns for about like four hours which is amazing and we're visiting in the dead of winter which Texas winter isn't like northern winter but still it can get a little chilly in the nights and this tiny wood stove is amazing. It heats and warms the space right up and it just feels so nice, so cozy, so warm, you'll love it. And before I show you guys the kitchen, I'm standing right under the skylight right here, which is amazing. It brings in so much natural light, and that's something that we really noticed about this space. There's tons of natural light, um, but the curtains all along the bus actually close, and there's curtains to close off the front window, because that front window is massive, um, and it just gives you privacy. Again, it helps insulate the area, um, but we love all the natural light and just letting the light breathe straight into this space. So. I'm gonna show you guys the kitchen now. So now you're in this amazing schooly kitchen and it's unbelievable. You have so much space. I can stretch my arms out, do this. It's crazy. One of the most amazing things about it though is they have a full-size fridge. 
Like, I think this fridge might be bigger than ours at home, which is incredible because you can fit so much. You can just prep and have stuff to make dinner, breakfast, whatever, and you have all the storage you need for it. And then you have these upper cabinets and lower cabinets, tons of storage space in here. And the Airbnb hosts have thought of everything that you need to cook, have coffee in the morning. I know we had our tea this morning um, and just have a completely normal, wonderful kitchen experience, which is not something you usually do in a school bus, so it's great. So you have a toaster oven, a two burner stove top, you've got this huge sink. Um, so yeah, really everything you need and more in a little kitchen space. And so now I'm gonna take you guys back to the master bedroom, cause again, that sleeps too, and then up here can sleep too in the living room area. But before I take you guys there, I wanna show you right over here to the side of the kitchen is where that table is actually stored that I talked about for the living room and um, if you just wanna set up a table. So that's really cool. But let's go check out the bedroom. So welcome to this incredibly massive master bedroom area. As you may have noticed on our walk back here, there was like a hallway and a little sub hallway and another hallway. And that's really cool because even though there's not a door on this master bedroom, you feel like you have so much privacy and you feel like you are completely secluded in a bedroom, which is brilliant. You may have also noticed that there were different closet storages as well, which is really great because you have more than enough space for storage, like more than enough. Um, you have three different closets, some open shelving, and it just works out great to be able to unpack and um, settle in. So several things about this master bedroom stand out to us. Um, not only that it's incredibly massive to say you're in a school bus, but there is so much room. There's room to kind of get ready, like a little vanity station, tons of extra shelving, which is really great for all of our electronics and stuff like that. They have more than enough power strips and outlets. You have a huge flat screen TV, a PlayStation, some DVDs. Um, basically you're set and it's great. And then what's really cool is you actually have a rooftop access point to the deck. And the deck is just a really cool area to sit at and just enjoy and realize that you're surrounded by all these trees and all this nature and it's just cool. So also you'll notice that the decor and design just carries on into the bedroom with these neutral shades, these neutral colors. And it's incredible because this feels like a gorgeous studio apartment somewhere. But again, I said it many times, it's in a school bus, our minds are blown. And it's incredible because there's 250 square feet of living space in here and it feels like you have plenty of room. So I know what you guys are wondering about, you wanna see the bathroom. You wanna know what does a schooly bathroom look like? So let's show you. So here is the schoolie bathroom. Honestly, the size is super comparable to other bathrooms and apartments in some homes. Um, every which direction that you're here in the bathroom, you have more than enough room to move about and do what you need to do. You have this really cool corner shower that has a curved edge, and that curved edge just helps make you feel like you have so much more room. You have a full-size vanity with this really cool circle mirror and two really fun um, sconce lightings that again just bring in the whole interior design of this place. And you have a regular toilet in here. And what's great is they have a covering on the windows so it still lets in natural lighting while giving you the privacy you need. And then on the back of the door to the restroom, you actually have a full length mirror. So you can totally um, just make sure you look fresh before you go out, which is great. Um, but yeah, it's incredible to have a regular toilet, all this space. I mean, again, our minds are blown. This is really well done. One other thing is on the back of the bathroom door is actually the ladders that help you gain access to the roof deck. Um, so I'll meet you guys up there. So we hope you enjoyed this tour of the Tio Aventura bus. Uh, whenever you come this way to Austin, Texas, or make a special trip out to Austin, Texas to stay here, we hope that you will just enjoy the cozy, warm, inviting atmosphere that this retro school bus brings. So we're gonna leave a link in the description to this Airbnb listing so you can book a trip yourself and enjoy all of it. We're also gonna leave a link to our referral code for Airbnb. So if you've never stayed in an Airbnb property before, you'll save money on your first trip, which is amazing. We hope that you guys enjoyed this and hope you find your way out to this retro school bus and we'll see you later.